Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What's up everybody? Big Hurt, Prison Talk, you're tuned into another edition. I got OG Badger here, and we wanna keep y'all laced up. So um, I brought him back on the show. Make sure you guys subscribe, tune into the website, freshoutseries.com and leave us a comment or if you have a question, also hit us up at freshoutseries at gmail.com. Had a question from one of our viewers. Hey Big Hurt, I watch a lot of your videos on Prison Talk and it helps me in times when I don't have drugs. At the age of 10, I lost my father and at 15, I lost my mother. After my mother was gone, I turned to the streets for guidance, not because I wanted to, but because I had to and it's fucked up out there. I sell meth and I do it. Ever since I was 14, and also I miss my mom and wish I didn't have to live this way. And I feel like if I ever get sent to prison, it'd be the best thing that happened to me. To reflect on my life decisions and much more, what do you think? If this gets a video, tell me your honest opinion. Wow, that's heavy, huh? Yeah, man. So I'm like, I'm a little choked out right now. So he's sharing part of my story. Hey brother, I feel your pain, man. You know what I mean? Uh, we call ourselves family in the rooms for a reason, you know what I mean? You don't have to get rescued to get clean, you know? Uh, going to prison isn't gonna help you, but if anything, it might get you put in the hat, you know? Because you're, not, you're still gonna have the desire to use. We need to learn a new way of living, and man, I really feel your pain. Uh-oh. So, I'm sorry. I'm gonna read a couple of seconds of this real quick. I mean, I get, okay, so like, there's no replacing mom, you know what I mean? And there's no replacing dad. And, and I lost my dad long before he died. You know what I mean? Like, he, we just weren't like that. So I feel your pain on all this, bro. And I definitely feel your pain for turning to the streets because that's what we do, you know? Uh, what do you think as far as, you know, him saying that prison would be the best thing that happened to him? I mean, there's other options. No, that's what I'm trying to say today. You know what I mean? Just just because you go to prison doesn't mean you're you're desire to use drugs are taken away or it covers up the pain that you're experiencing that day or whatever every day it's not just that day it's every day but we learn how to cope with that going to prison doesn't solve anybody except for child molesters <laughs> uh it doesn't solve any dilemmas it doesn't i uh. promise you know what i mean like and and thank god we did the methadone thing because i see how many of us there are out there struggling you know what i mean that are reaching doing trying to read do what I do, watch inspirational shit, you know what I mean? And so my suggestion to you would be to go to a meeting, you know what I mean? And, and don't just go to a meeting, participate in that meeting, step up and say what your name is and the, the pain that you're feeling. And I assure you, a family member, one of your new family members are gonna pull you outside. Because if you come inside, I assure you, we're going to make drugs available to you. We're going to let you get into debt to us. <laughs> and you're going to put in some fucking work for us. And then you're going to get more in debt to us. Because we're going to continue letting you use. And then guess what? Yeah, that's right. S and Y. Special needs yard. Because you got to lock it up. Because you can't pay your debt. Or you're not willing to step up to do what we're asking you to do. Prison is not going to help anybody. Any of you kids thinking that? Or... Anything like that is not going to help any of them. And that's, how, that's my story because I do drugs. You don't do drugs. Yeah, but I, 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 I know, Dabbled. I, I know what, you're, what you're trying to get at, though, because like you said, if there's other... I've seen dudes talking about, oh, you know, going to prison, maybe I can get a vacation or something like that. I'm like, a vacation? You think prison's a fucking vacation? I mean, you know, if you have the opportunity, like you say, to go to a, go to a group and have somebody else share. I know for me, man, a lot of times... I held a lot of shit in, like, you, we talked earlier about women and, you know, being strong women, helping us, re, helping raise us and giving us certain qualities, but, you know, sometimes, like, when you have a man and you feel like 
you can kind of break down. Because as a dude, you don't want to share any of that. You hold it in. We internalize it. I'm tougher than that. I don't need to fucking tell nobody. I'm, you know, you're weak if you feel like, you know, you need to talk about something. So we hold shit in, hold shit in, hold shit in. And then it, it, it maybe comes out in a violent act or it comes out in, you know, you listening to something you shouldn't have listened to and playing out a scenario that gets you caught up. Right. And, you know, if you had a talk to, about it or if you had a shared that, maybe you wouldn't be in the position you're in. Like by you sharing this with us on this video, you know, you can go and talk to somebody and they can maybe sit you down and point you in another direction that you didn't know existed. I mean, if I would have talked to somebody about my bank robbery or about, you know, helping out the homie with a, a, a ride on a home invasion or, you know, robbing motherfuckers, I would have been like, you know, they'd have been like, what the fuck are you doing? You know, you can be doing this, doing that. You know, I'm like, you know what, you're right. But because I internalize a lot of stuff and I have a problem with sharing how I feel about certain situations, it has led me to do things I shouldn't have done. And so now by me maturing and trying to work through that, it helps to share. You know, it's all right to, you know, ask for help. It's all right to, you know, not want to do something and to have a, you know, to have a choice. And, um, you know, you, you writing into us, man, is, is uh, probably one of the biggest, you know, and most courageous things you could do in your life because now you can get an answer. You can have somebody who cares about your well-being. And, and like he said, man, you go to prison. <laughs> and don't worry. You're headed there. Yeah. If you're selling dope, you're headed there. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah. Especially queer juice, man. You're going to get told on. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Exactly. For sure. Exactly. When you go to drop off that little fucking $10 16th, whatever it is. I mean, you know, I know prices, but you're going to, they're bringing the police because they got pot. That's you know right. I mean? Over That's a parking right. ticket, you're getting fucking going to prison. That's right. For sales. Possession of drugs may be a misdemeanor, but possession for sale is definitely a fucking felony. And there's always what somebody in that... What he from? Um, he didn't say. But there's always somebody in that chain that's hot. There's always somebody that's hot, whether it, it's not your homeboy, but somebody got, got popped and told on him. His girl, child services came in, found drugs. Now she's going to tell on her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's going to tell on the dealer. Nothing changes the dealer's going to change. It's the changes. same shit. It's the same story. It's, I got a homie right now. Years. They had a motherfucking uh, pole camera. <laughs> that the dude would say, let's go outside, homie. Go out there talking. The pole camera was recording him the whole time. Now, this dude got popped. Whoever told him got right back out, hurry up and start telling. Took down five other people. Right. Well, he only had to get three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? But that's how, you know, everybody, that's how it works. So, yeah, man, um, going to prison, you can hopefully avoid that. If you can get yourself in a program, get cleaned up, go take a trade, brother. Get your life together. And, um, you know, have, have, have something more positive going on, man. You can uh, edit this if you have to, but uh, you can get at me on Instagram, Badger1488, and, and I got plenty of time for you, bud. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I don't care who you are, what nationality, what race, color, creed, I don't give a shit. Get at me. I'm happy to, you know what I mean, introduce you to some things that can turn your life around for the better, not for the worse. Thanks. Big Heart Prison Talk. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.